Oops, we just saw another 1% interest rate increase by Bank of Canada. And they're saying that they're going to increase more in this year. And also, I'm seeing a lot of articles coming out saying that we are heading towards a recession. So if that's true, you know, you're someone just starting your career or you own a home, you're investing in real estate for achieving financial freedom, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to share how you can be prepared. You know, how can you prepare yourself so that you can take advantage of this recession if the recession happens and you know how can you save yourself by you know not getting burned down by this interest rate hikes so stay tuned namaskar welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is aditya soma i'm a real estate investor and realtor and i have a team of uh, you know real estate agents with me where we work in windsor essex so again this channel is not about talking about my sales it's more about how i can help you achieve financial freedom using real estate as a vehicle because you know that's what real estate has done to me and i believe the real estate has the power to you know give financial freedom for everyone like me who are just you know starting with no background no finances no family background nothing no money so all those things if that's you then make sure to hit that subscribe button and I give it a thumbs up so without bogging down too much about me how can you be prepared in this market circumstances because the interest rates is causing so much stress on a lot of average Canadian families because you know everything is increasing in the prices your mortgage payments going up and you know the, your prices are going down that means you cannot leverage more money from your house so how can you be prepared that's the video about so my suggestion number one stop pending on bullshit things online or physically because you know anything that you don't need if it's not a basic necessary or you're not spending on something educating yourself to have a better life then don't spend because you know i'm seeing people like you know they're buying new cars buying new iphones or new things that in reality you don't even need that and this is the time you have to put a stop for unnecessary spending habits and suggestion two if you can find a second job or you can find a side gig that can make you money now because you know this is the time the cash is king if you can find opportunities if you can find ways to increase your income doesn't matter you know whatever it is you know easiest way is if you can take side gigs like using freelance or you know different things using your personal skills like if you are good with photographer or if you are good with editing if you are good on designing a website go take side gigs make some extra income don't be lazy number three again old saying save 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 money as much as possible now because it's gonna be in next six to 18 months there are gonna be a lot of opportunities i strongly believe and a lot of big investors are projecting the same thing you will have opportunities to buy some solid stocks you have opportunities to buy some solid real estate so to invest in then you need money if you're spending all your money now then you won't have anything left to invest so make sure you're taking all the unnecessary expenses out and spending every penny possible number four sit down and do all the calculations of your current income and expenses so if you're making a job and if you have a rental property or if you have any other income do the list of incomes one two three four hundred two hundred three hundred four hundred you have a total income of thousand dollars and do don't be shy be transparent where are you spending your money groceries car payments gas you know going out for dinners dates whatever make sure everything and also if you own a rental property or if you own a house do the math on how much is your monthly payment and on top of it if it's a fixed or variable if it's a fixed for next five years you don't have to worry your payment is not going to change but if it's a variable so just a rough number if you're on variable if you have a hundred thousand for every one percent increase in the interest rate so we just saw the one percent increase interest rate right so for every one percent approximately 57 dollar increase on your mortgage so if you have a five hundred thousand dollars loan 
that means 570 into 5 so do your math there if it's a, if you have a million dollar loan your payment increases by 570 dollars so make sure you project that you put it in your expense sheet and your income sheet so that you have a better picture on where you're standing financially now because you know that would help you if you have to do make any adjustments you know with your spending habits or if you have to you know put money aside because there is a chances of the interest rate going up is very high another one percent or even two percent so make sure this if you have this projection you can put x amount of money aside accordingly right so don't take that easily don't just do the numbers on the head sit down take a pen and paper if you're married or if you have a you know common law sit down with your partner you both do the numbers exactly how they are on your credit cards on your you know bills then you know have this somewhere at your desk or at your visual eye so you can see every day number five suggestion offload any liabilities that you have including if you have a rental property that is not performing well it's getting you know a lot of expenses or if your income is not that much it's not cash flowing or you know a car you have that you know unnecessary if you have like you know a big car that you can sell 60,000 and you can buy a 20,000 car any liabilities that you can offload do it now because you know based on the projections there is 60 70 percent of chances it can go further down the market can get worst so if you have cash sitting with you that's opportunity in coming future so before i give you the last suggestion so far let me know what's your favorite suggestion and you know if you have any other suggestions that you think would work during this time let me know in the comments below and if you loved it give that thumbs up button because that helps to you know put this video in front of more people i'm aiming for thousand likes on this video so i need your support so going on to the last suggestion this is very crucial of all because you know first five i said you gotta spend less you gotta you know reduce your expenses and increase your income and save as much as possible the last one is start looking for opportunities when you find a killer opportunity if you find a solid company stock that is at a very good discounted price or if you find a solid cash flowing property at a very good price then jump on those opportunities because you are prepared you have enough funds you have a job you know secured your income side then now focus on a solid investments and go invest in them without fear so the history will teach us and in the past history many 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 recessions have made most of the millionaires so most of the billionaires are coming from the recessions so what does that tell you if you're if we are heading towards recession if you can save up with the cash and cash becomes a king and go invest in the solid opportunities then you will become the next millionaire too so i'm hoping to see you as a millionaire and do yourself a favor follow these instructions make sure you know comment below whether you're having that plan to follow or not or you know if you're not following it let me know if you what else you're doing to protect yourself and your family for better financial future so with that hope you enjoyed the video until then you know i'm gonna see you in the next video until then check out the other videos see you